travelling around the country, uh, often going to areas that might, might not be familiar with and undertaking different activities. People need to be prepared for what they are undertaking. They need to understand those local conditions, be aware of the dangers, and really importantly, understand their own limits and make wise decisions around water. We're only 12 days into the new year, but three who died this weekend take our drowning toll so far for 2020 to five. In Australia, oh. cooling temperatures are giving fire crews a welcome chance to clear roads and get perimeters under control. But that work is playing the life of another fireman killed by a fallen tree in Victoria. This brings the total toll to 28 this fire season. The blaze is still swallowing the New South Wales Victorian border. What are you doing, Martha? Um, doing aquapark.io. How much percent is there left? For mum fun. Um, 53. Three more until I go to the beach again, like last time. Beach. The time is being used to reset, yeah. refocus, but not rest. I have a series of chainsaw things uh, whose task is to enhance what the great work that the RFS have already done in the area. Those are our roads and roofs. It's marvellous. Thank you so much, Lloyd. We really appreciate it. A team from Animal Evacuation New Zealand is now on the ground in New South Wales rescuing animals that somehow survived the inferno. That That's a hedgehog. That's Sonic. No. <laughs> oh, hi, Sonic. He, he, he's only walking. If he would run, that means he would run faster than anyone. Wow. And in the TV interview, Australia's Prime Minister conceded he could have handled some things better. There are things that I could have handled on the ground much better. These are very raw emotional environments. But after thousands turned out to protest demanding more action on climate change, <laughs> Sharon Ferguson won the World Fire Service has been fronting the centre of Australia's fire crisis and over the past few months thousands of other emergency service personnel have been supporting their work and have their crucial tools, drones, Caroline's second agenda is much more. A drone hovers above the Green Mill Creek fire west of Sydney. It looks like harmless smoke, but when a switch is flicked, this heat sensor reveals hidden sprawling flames. We'll wipe out the, at the cutting edge of this technology. For the first time, we can show you fire and rescue's eye in the sky during this bushfire emergency. Right now, the agency has more drones up than planes. If we do lose one, um, it's not as tragic as it is when we lose a real aircraft with people on board. Help from above and below. One more until until I get the beach, Joseph. The crews manning it have responded to natural disasters across tsunami. There are hospital wards, operating theatres, and a camp for doctors. Mount different. But you have to bump um people, not not cars. None of that happens without very hard work of our of our people. Sydney Opera House made a special tribute to those who have been fighting the blazes. 
a light show on the side of the famous landmark showing photos of firefighters and a special message of thank you. Thank you, fires. Despite the bushfires, Australia has been encouraging tourists to 